What does it truly mean to love your neighbor as yourself? Today we dive deep into the heart of the Bible, specifically Hebrews 13, verses 1 through 25, a passage that provides profound insights into this age-old question. Verse 1, let mutual love continue. The author of Hebrews reminds us of the importance of maintaining consistent love for one another. This isn't a fleeting emotion, but a stable, enduring love that reflects the unwavering love God has for us. Verse 2, do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing that, some have entertained angels without knowing it. Here the author nudges us to extend our love beyond our immediate circles, hinting at the divine potential in every encounter. In verse 3, Remember those who are in prison, as though you were in prison with them, those who are being tortured, as though you yourselves were being tortured. This verse urges us to empathize deeply with those who are suffering, a powerful call to compassion and solidarity. Scene script, verse 4 through 7 talks about the sanctity of marriage, the dangers of love for money, and the importance of remembering our leaders, respectively. Each verse, a unique facet of the Christian life, yet all interconnected through the golden thread of love and respect for others. Verses 8 through 16 emphasize Jesus Christ's unchanging nature, the importance of spiritual food, and the significance of sacrifices that please God. These verses remind us of the eternal nature of Christ's teachings and the importance of internalizing them in our daily lives. From verse 17 to 25, the author implores us to obey our leaders, pray for each other, and extend greetings of peace. The closing verses serve as a final reminder of the interconnectedness of the Christian community and the importance of unity and peace in it. So what does Hebrews chapter 13 teach us? It's a powerful call to love, empathy, and unity. It's a reminder to extend our love beyond our immediate circles, to empathize with those in pain, and to maintain unity and peace within our communities. It's a guide to living a life that reflects the teachings of Christ a life filled with love, compassion, and respect for all. It's a reminder that in every interaction there's a potential for a divine encounter. In essence, Hebrews 13 verse 1 through 25 is a comprehensive guide to Christian living, a blueprint for building a community rooted in love, empathy, and unity. It's a call to live not just for ourselves, but for each other, in reflection of the unwavering love that God has for us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for your support.